Yeah. Good afternoon. How you guys doing? Doing great. Doing great, Marcus. Uh, how did the first uh, day of training camp go for you all today? It was great. I thought offensively we were efficient. Uh, I thought it was great to just come out here and compete. The guys were flying around. It's just fun to play ball again. And uh, Coach uh, London was saying, hey, now um, you all couldn't come back and start from scratch. Do you feel that um, you know the retention was there and you all can start building on what you all did in the off season? Absolutely. And I thought guys coming out here weren't a lot of mental errors. Guys were comfortable with what they were doing. We're confident in it, and uh, allowed our guys to play fast. And just how was the off season for you? Um, you know, reflecting on the fact, hey, I got a big time opportunity in front of me here, starting uh, July 27th. Yeah, the off season was great. I went back to Oregon. Um, saw some family, just really hung out. And um, for me, I, I really look at these five weeks as an opportunity just to get ready physically and mentally. Um, so training, doing things, um, getting ready to go. So all in all, I, it was a great time for me to get away. Uh, and I feel great. I'm looking forward to this opportunity. When you think about this opportunity and the offense, the system, and you worked with Arthur before, what's your level of comfort with the strategy, the X's and O's? I feel very comfortable. And being around Art for all that time in Tennessee, I think that's where it comes from. Um, but I, I think he's done a great job of collaborating and creating new things. And for us as an offense, it's exciting. It allows us to go and, and just play fast and do some creative things. Um, but for the most part, all in all, I feel really comfortable. I, really, I feel really confident. And I'm excited where we're at. Could you describe your chemistry with confidence, like where it's at, how it's going? Yeah, it feels great. Um, you know, he's an easy guy to throw to. Uh, you know, with how, how rangy he is and his physical attributes. Um, so for us as quarterbacks, he makes it easy. Uh, he's such a great athlete. We just got to find ways to get him the ball. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you, like you said, you kind of see it day in and day out. Um, so for us, it, it's just knowing where he's at. Uh, giving him an opportunity to make plays like that uh, because he's just he's a force. Marcus, you played with Rashawn Evans for a couple years there in Tennessee. What did he bring to the Intensity and um, I think just a level of confidence um, just all across the board for the defense. When you got a guy like him, flies around, makes plays, uh, he creates just a mentality for that defense. So um, being around him for a little bit in Tennessee, I think. Uh, he's going to bring that type of culture here, and I, I think it's going to be good for us. Marcus, uh, D-Led may have just touched on it, but can you define what this opportunity means for you personally, career-wise, is to get that opportunity to be the, the starter again? Yeah, I, I think it's, for me, it's a great opportunity just to kind of prove not only to myself, um, but to those who have believed in me. Um, so I'm excited. Um, you know, the last couple of years was a great reset. I, I learned a lot from Derek. I learned a lot of being there. Um, but I feel ready to go. And again, I'm excited for this opportunity. I'm going to do whatever I can to help this team out uh, and just be the best that I can be. Um, well, first of all, Atlanta's hot. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, and then secondly, it, it really comes down to this is the, the foundation that you're building for the entire season. Um, and it's really just helping these young guys come along. You know, for rookies and even like first year players that don't have a lot of experience, you got to try to emulate game type scenarios out on the practice field so that once they get to the game, they feel comfortable. So, um, you know, we're going to do whatever we can to help that speed some of that process up for our young guys so that when game day rolls around, we're, we're ready to grow. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. This is, it's not too bad. What, what, but to that end, though, what types of things have you done as a professional over the years to? acclimate your body to the heat and, and the elements? Well, first, of, first and foremost is hydrating. Um, you know, I'm trying to drink as much water as you can. Um, and then really, you know, you try to come out a couple days before, uh, especially because I, I spend a lot of time out on the West Coast. So just getting adjusted to the time, getting adjusted to the heat. Um, so just making sure from a physical standpoint that I'm not missing anything. I'm not, you know, lacking in any fluids or anything like that. So that when I get on the field that I can just trust what I can do and, and be confident in my body. So you're talking about adjusting. So a week or two from now, the heat, whatever the heat index, you'll be better. You'll, yeah, you'll yeah. Feel I, I think, yeah, and I think that's kind of it goes across the board for everybody. Um, you know, once you get out here, you kind of get used to it. And I think it's a, an advantage for us, um, you know, especially early on in the season when you're going to places and it is hot, uh, to be able to, to have this on a day-to-day -day basis, I think it allows us to have an advantage. What's it like seeing the offensive line and the tight end kind of move like mushroom capsule? I know it's this year, I mean, is it 
Um, no, it, it's I, obviously it's for player safety. Um, I never really noticed it. You know, I just give I give those guys a bad time because I know it is tough to wear. Marks, you mentioned that the the run, the young rookies. What do you make of Desmond today? Uh, I thought he thought he did well. Um, again, I think for guys, young guys, it's just being able to take what you learn in the off season and then apply it to training camp. Um, I thought he did a great job today. I thought he was getting in out of the huddle, um, operating well. So, again, for a young guy, I think that's, that says a lot. He took the time off and, and really kind of focused on getting in the playbook, making sure that he was prepared. Because um, all, all in all, it just makes us all better. You know, when you can operate at that level, um, you know, all the guys are kind of kind of raise their, their play too. So um, I thought he did a great job today. What, what's your thought on sharing information with a younger guy? Who could be competing for your job one day? Different people work in different ways. But. I've, I learned a long time ago. I, you know, I left my ego at the door. Um, you know, I, I really try to help wherever I can, even if it is Desmond, if it's Drake, if it's a younger guy like KP. Like, you know, I just I just try to do and give all that I can because I think I, I mean I've been in so many different scenarios in my career. I've been a starter. I've been benched. You know, I've been a backup. You know, I've been hurt. I've been kind of all these different things. So. Being able to take those experiences and try to help wherever I can, I think will also maybe make our team better. Um, so that's really what I'm focused on. I don't, man, I don't care. I just try to help wherever I can. Yeah, and I also realize how old I am too, right? <laughs> like, I mean, it's kind of funny. Like Drake just had his 21st birthday the other day, and I'm like, sheesh. Um, <laughs> No, but it, all in all, you know what? Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I learned a lot, um, and it's provided me information and provided me experience to be able to pass on to people and hopefully help them along their way. Great. Another guy I feel like you know took these five weeks and, and took it seriously. Um, came out, looked great, uh, made some plays for us today. So um, again, it's just kind of continuing to build one day at a time, build these guys up so that when we get out there, guys can just roll with confidence. Yeah, I mean, we spend a lot of time together. And, you know, I kind of feel that's every older player's role is just kind of help the younger guy. I think that's the culture that's built here. Um, I've been in places where it's not necessarily that way. But um, ultimately, in the end, you know, I think if you can help guys, especially the younger guys out, it's going to ultimately make your team better. So um, I do whatever I can. I pass on along as much information as I can to him, whatever he wants to absorb. Um, but our relationship's great, and um, you know I, I, I'm excited to work with him. So how much time do you guys actually spend with each other? I mean, we're in meetings all day together. Um, they got us rooming together, so um, damn near 24-7. <laughs> Anything else? Do you notice it out there that it's just you two taking reps, which is kind of unusual at this time of the year? Art says it's because there aren't too many reps to go around. So usually there's three quarterbacks maybe before during training camp. Do you notice that at all? Uh, a little bit, and I think it's great. You know, I love reps. I think the more that you can do, the more that you get out on the field um, is better. So um, I'm, I'm grateful for it, and uh, I think it's ultimately making both of us better. So how's it feel just getting out there for state training camp? It feels good. I mean, just back with the boys, flying around and stuff, making plays. I mean, it's, it's, this is what we do. We live for it. You know, as a kid, you, you dream about this moment. So just taking it all, you know, taking nothing for granted. Talk about your opportunity kind of walking into this season, a different kind of year for you now. I mean, it's going to be everything. It's everything I've ever wanted. You know, I've been complaining and, you know, moaning and complaining for the last two years. So, I mean, just coming here day by day, try to prove myself to be the starter every day and try to lead this group. So how do you do that? How every day do you kind of like actively, all right, I got to do this differently or I got to step up in this way? I mean, I think just, uh, I've always been doing it. You know, I just have a bigger role this time, so it's kind of good to put in the spotlight. But, I mean, anytime you really feel tired or anything like that, you just got to tell yourself, you know, a year ago, how did you feel? Like, you know, you wanted this a year ago. So I think that's just kind of self-motivation for me. How different is it just year two with this coaching staff and, and that side of it as well? Is there a different kind of vibe around the team? Well, it's just more, everyone's more comfortable, you know, we'll get to fly around a little bit more, people are having more fun. You know, last year I felt like everyone just didn't want to make a mistake, you know, everyone was just kind of um, trying to get their job in the mixed state. Now we're flying around having fun, we're kind of putting our own twist on it, so I mean, I think I'm really excited for this year. There's still a lot of new faces, though, around this team. I mean, is there still, <laughs> do you kind of catch yourself like, wait, who's that guy? <laughs> 
because I got uh, you, names you. Kelly, my boy Debo, we got six guys left here on defense for my rookie year. So, I mean, it's, it's everybody's brand new, but I mean, I'm just comfortable here. You know, I feel like this is home for me. And I mean, shoot, this is what I'm trying to spend the rest of my career if I can. <laughs> And from the outside, you know, not a lot of expectations for this team. Um, how does that sit with you and, and maybe guys in the locker room in terms of where this franchise is? I mean, for us, we don't we don't care about that. You know, like for us, I mean, nobody comes here and say, you know, we're just going to lose this week. You know, let's just go home. You know, practice could be have to be here. Like we're here to have fun. We're here. To, I mean, no one thought Cincinnati Bengals were going to be in the Super Bowl last year, but it didn't. So for us, we don't really care about the outside noise. We're just trying to get ready here. The, the guardian cap there. I hate it. Really? It's terrible. It's the worst thing I've ever been. I don't know who did it. <laughs> you got no airflow. It's terrible. It's heavy. Yeah. yeah. I hope they take that, document that, and go take this down my own. <laughs> <laughs> but it's optional, right? No. No? no not for the first not two, two uh, weeks, right? Until right. right. so, so after the second preseason game. We got yeah. Yeah. Um, is there some value? Do you think it'll help? I mean, safer or? we didn't start hitting yet. So I'll yeah. see next week. Yeah. But I mean, as far as just ailments, I don't know. I, maybe I don't know. Yeah. You know, people who get paid way more money than me made this decision, so I just let it go. <laughs> I, I mean, it's hot enough out here, right? Right. <laughs> Even though today was a good day. Yeah, today's probably the best day we're going to get. <laughs> Down from there. As, as, as a professional athlete, what do you do when it comes to heat and preparation and your training, even before you get here, to deal with the, the heat factors that you pop up again? I mean, it's just hydration. At the end of the day, like, I mean, you, nothing prepares you for football. You know, you could, any, like, everyone has their own training facilities. We have our own. We play, like, play basketball. Some people like to like, do boxing training. Nothing prepares you for this. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just the more times you come out here and you rep it, you're just going to get used to it. So, for me, it's just hydration, but knowing that I got to, it's not going to start till I get here. That being said, what do you kind of focus on these first couple days without pads and kind of just getting back into the motion of it? Communication. That's that's like huge. Just because I mean, everybody here, if you're in this building, you can play football. You know, so like, everything's about communication. Uh, making sure everything's. You know, we're, we went all the way back to install one. I mean, Dean does a great job with going from the basics. I mean, I've seen the same install one probably a hundred times now. So like even just this year. So um, I think that's great. Just make sure everything's down. We still have a couple mistakes out there. So just make sure we get the out cleaned up before we start hitting because that's that's a whole other mental factor. <laughs> How was your first NFL practice? Uh, it was great. Um, went out there, you know, just did what we needed to do, um, and, and that's execute. And I felt like we did a good job um, through the through the jog through period, through seven on seven, through team. Um, I felt like we did a good job of getting in and out of the huddle um, and, and just getting the play executed. I noticed you do something, and I didn't see it today. Take the snap and 11 on 11. You look down and look back up, and you do it a couple times. Is that just so you sort of readjust to the picture? You kind of get the picture again to simulate. Pressure like look down at the ground. Yeah, just um, to take your eyes off the secondary and pop back up. No, I didn't. I didn't know. I oh, okay. probably not trying to look down at the ground, or maybe it looks like I'm looking down at the ground, but maybe it's just like kind of catching the ball real quick. Um, but then, yeah, obviously we want to have our eyes kind of just in the secondary in the backfield, see what's going on. Um, yeah. How do you approach the competition? Do you think I'm one A? Do you think I'm going to be the starter? Do you think I'm the backup and I have to close X amount of gap every day? Yeah, no, um, we, we talk about it as a healthy competition, um, not just in our room, but in every single room that we have. Um, so and what that means for us is just, you know, going out there, it's not rooting against, you know, one another right. that, oh, Marcus goes out here and throw a pick, and oh, I go out here and throw a touchdown or vice versa, um, but just, you know, making each other better. So picking each other up when we're both down or, or you know, giving each other praise where praise is needed. Um, so, you know, just really fitting in where my role's fitting in. Um, you know, Marcus has been in Coach Smith's system before, so, you know, he knows a lot more. So I'm really just trying to learn from him and learn how he goes about, you know, learning the game plan and learning how we do things each and every week um, just to better myself as best as I can be. Congrats on being a married man. Thank you. <laughs> how, thank was, you. how was the wedding? Good? Uh, great. It was a little small <laughs> wedding down at uh, the courthouse, so I had both sides of the family come down, so it was a fun day. That's awesome. Congrats. Thank you so much. Also, congrats on being in your first NFL practice today. Sure. I mean, how different was it from the last couple times you've been out here today with you know everyone else out here? Yeah, you know, a little more um, live action, um, obviously being able to actually get in team periods and actually go and throw the ball. Um, so, it, you know, from that standpoint, it was, and the, the speed picked up a little bit. Uh, but other than that, you know, we're seeing things very clearly. Um, had a good grasp of you know, the script for today and what we were supposed to do. And like I said, I uh, thought we did a good job of executing and doing what we need to do to come out here and, and take the step, next step forward. What's the vibe kind of on day one? Is everyone just kind of excited to be out here? Yeah, point? definitely. That's day one of any camp. 
Uh, you know, if you ask us maybe on day, you know, 15, 16, <laughs> it might be a little different vibe. Uh, but no, day one, obviously, everyone's excited to be out here. You know, coach has to tell us to slow down sometimes in the jog through. Um, got a little juice to us. So, um, you know, we were definitely excited to all be back out here and just playing the game we love. Take us through the end of OTAs to now. What did you work on during that time period? Yeah. Um, so for me, it was more so just, you know, the play action, getting out from under center. Um, out there with Jordan uh, Palmer and then, you know, Drake Lennon was able to come out there and work with us. Um, him being from, you know, about an hour away from where we work out in Orange County, he just drove down every day. Um, so just really trying to build that connection to just, just trying to be on the same page, be in sync. How much did that help, the fact that you and Drake were able to get some work done? Yeah, it helped tremendously, you know. Um, you know, I think me and Drake have a, a great connection off the field. Um, and then obviously on the field, you know, we're continuing to build and continuing to, you know, see what we can be. But um, it helps out tremendously when you can just go away from, you know, the facility and, and be able to connect both on and off the field um, with players. In the little time we've spent with you, I think I have a good grasp in the fact that your head is always in the book. You're studying and, and you're studying up on football. How much of it is that and how much of it is just focusing on what you got to do on the field now? Um, you know, it, it's obviously... I'd say, you know, it's a lot more in the in the books. Um, and then because if, if you put your preparation and everything you need to do in the books and you just come out here and play football, you don't you know have to think about a lot of things. Um, it just comes easily to you. So, um, you know, it's camp. So we're here from early in the morning to late at night. And you know, the only time we're really doing, you know, hard practice, whatever you want to call it, is out here for an hour and a half. So the rest is all mental work for us. And, uh, you know, that's why we play the game. That's why we love the game. Okay, so in the downtime when there's guys playing video games and stuff, I'm assuming you're in the corner studying. Is that yeah, no, that there's, so there's a couple people, you know, brought the Xbox and stuff. Right. But, I, you know, as quarterbacks, I've never been the guy to bring my Xbox. Um, <laughs> I brought two iPad chargers and, and a couple notebooks. So that's about it for me. No Xbox for you. Nah. Do you have any personal goals throughout training camp that you've set before things got started? Uh, no, not to set, really just to, to, you know, master the offense as well as I can um, going into preseason to, you know, not have any questions to, to second guess myself once I step on the field. Like I said earlier, once I step on the field to be able to go out here and play fast with no thinking. I think if I remember correctly, everyone was saying you were the first one out here during rookie camp. Are you the first one out here during training camp or is someone uh, else getting you to that today? Yeah, so there was a couple people. Um, I know, Marcus, we had talked about it this morning. Um, I think he got up like 10 minutes before me, um, but you know, the, the roommates are me, Marcus and Felipe. So then we, we all got in the hot tub at the same time. And uh, we all talked about it. We was like, okay, we'll just drop in together tomorrow. Um, so, you know, we don't have to make the long walk. Um, but no, you know, there were a few other guys. Um, you know, there, there comes a, a certain standpoint when, you know, there, there's getting here really early, just to say you get here early. And then you got to think about the, the rest and recovery part of it as well. Do you coordinate the alarms usually? <laughs> uh, no, you know, Marcus yeah. came in my room last night and it was like, I was in my normal text and it was like, you know, nine o'clock and he's like, all right, see you. I'm like, where are you going? He's like, sleep. I'm like, oh, okay, that's, that's early. I, was like, I at least got like another 30, 45 minutes. Uh, so no, I'm sure I'll be a lot more tired tonight. Um, but no, we didn't coordinate anything. <laughs> so among the things... Oh. Uh, among the things you've learned from him is when to go to bed, right? Yeah, no, he's definitely, he's definitely, and you know, uh, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jared, I asked this earlier, but what have your impressions been of, of Arthur, not so much as his head coach, but as an offensive coordinator? Understands the game, you know, incredibly well. Um, obviously, you know, well, more well than any of us. Uh, um, and, you know, he comes in and drops in the meetings and gives us tits and, and pieces of, you know, this and that. Um, and it really just truly, you know, shows us the knowledge that he has of, of where he's been, where he's came from, and how he wants things done. Um, so I'm excited to, to be and work under a guy like him. Um, and, you know, I'm just excited to continue our relationship and continue to keep building it. Is there anything he did or said that would be sort of Yeah, I mean, you know, he just told me to be myself. Um, you know, he, he told me that, you know, I was – I was doing, you know, pretty well for where I was at at the time, um, and just continue to keep going, continue to lead, continue to be yourself, continue to get better. What, what about in film sessions? Did you point anything out to you? Like, oh, I didn't know. Uh, no, I wouldn't say so much about that. Okay. Kind of going off a lot, a little bit specifically with the coach. What's it like working with Charles Lundin? Yeah, Coach Lundin is like he's a great guy. Um, you know, he, he helps us out tremendous ways, um, whether that's on the field, off the field. I think we'll see a lot more of his help. Um, when we talk about game planning and being able to, to come in and break down another team's defense, 
Um, so I'm really excited to kind of get into game week and see where he does with that. Um, but, you know, Coach Rags, Coach London, Coach Nick, Coach Smith, um, all four of those guys really come in and just obviously make us the best we want to be. Hey, Desmond, uh, Marcus was just saying that you guys are rooming together. Um, <laughs> I know it's early, but uh, how's that chemistry? Um, presenting itself to be. Yeah, no, it's been great since uh, the, the day I stepped foot here um, and the day he arrived here as well. Um, you know, we, like Coach said, the day out on the field, he said iron sharpens iron. Um, and that's all we want to do is make each other better. Um, we obviously know at the end of the day there's a competition. Um, like I said earlier, we want it to be a healthy competition. Um, that doesn't mean, you know, cheer when, you know, he does a bad thing and, you know, he celebrates when I do a bad thing, this and that. Um, but make sure that, you know, we're keeping each other up, you know, in, in good times and bad times. Um, but no, it's been great. You know, we're, we've got a great camaraderie. Um, you know, obviously the same style of play. So you know, when we get in the meeting rooms, and you know, we like to joke, there's not as you know many athletic people in that room as, as us two. Um, you know, and it kind of gets fun. So. How would you um, say your first training camp day went? Is it everything you dreamed about? I mean, what, going into your first one, what was it like? Yeah, it was. It definitely went well. Um, you know, I feel like went out here, was able to execute, was able to uh, you know articulate the plays and get everything in in and out of the huddle on time um, and just get up and like I said execute run the play swiftly and uh, yeah I think I had a pretty good day. There, we've been pointing more. out a lot that there's really only two quarterbacks getting a lot of the reps. Felipe will get some but how is it really to get a majority of the reps when normally there's three guys getting to play? Yeah no I'm, I'm grateful for that you know sometimes you look out here and you might be a little tired out here because it's just two guys um, but then you know you think and you know you're working up to this point you know our entire lives and you know, before I step foot on the Falcons, you know, you think there's, you know, three, four guys coming into training camp and, you know, you hear the stories of you might only get one rep, so you better make sure that rep counts. Um, and so, you know, I'm just blessed and grateful to be able to come here um, and, and, you know, just be one of the two guys for right now. And obviously, like you said, Felipe, come in later, um, but to just learn the reps and, and take the reps where they are. Appreciate it.